Okay, let's have a look at IXL um, factoring quadratic equations with a leading coefficient of 1. So what you want to do for this one is we're going to use the sum and product method. We look to this number first and we decide what are the factors of 13. Well, this is easy. There's only one factor pair for this. That's 1 times 13. So then we look to here to see how do we create 14. Well, that's 1 plus 13 is equal to 14. So that means our factors are going to be plus 1 and plus 13. So we can write this as P plus 1, P plus 13. So now we've got 8. Now we've got 8. So we've got 1 times 8, 2 times 4. Which of these factor pairs gives 6? Well, it's going to be 2 plus 4 gives 6. So our factor pair is going to be z plus 2, z plus 4. So we need z plus 2, z plus 4. Right, slightly harder one, just up a level. Right, so now we've got minus 19. Well, that's easy in that the factor pair for 19 is only 1. It's 1 times 19. But we have to look to the signs now. So looking at the signs, we can use the... Uh, we can use the template. Sorry, that crashed. Um, we want the little template here like this one. Okay, so if we have a minus sign in front of the C, that means both the signs are different. One's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. So on this one, if we have the number here being 18, it means the largest one is going to be positive. So we're going to have plus 19 minus 1 gives 80. So our factor pair here is going to be Q minus 1 bracket Q plus 19. Okay, so we go one harder than this one. Okay, so now we've got minus 20. We've got a few more factor pairs that we need to find. We've got 1 times 20. We've got 2 times 10. We've got 4 times 5. And these are all the factor pairs we need to choose between. Next, we can sort of look at our template here. We've got a minus sign, so both the signs are going to be different. We've got a minus sign here. Both the signs are going to be different. So we're going to have an x plus something. We're going to have an x minus something. This is k throw. Now, because we have a minus sign here, it means the bigger of the two have to be negative. So we can see that if we use this one, 4 minus 5, 4 minus 5, it's going to give us minus 20. 4 subtract 5 is going to give us minus 1. So this is what we need. This will give us k plus... 4, close bracket, k minus 5. Do one more. Make it a little harder than that one. A little harder than that one. It was actually easy. It's still quite easy to jump around to that. Okay. Something a bit more challenging. Not going to give it me. All right, I'll do this one. So right, this is easy because it's 1 times 5, clearly. This sign is negative, so the signs are different. So we've got j plus something, and we've got j minus something. This sign is positive, so the bigger of the two is positive. We get 5 minus 1.
All right, we'll do this one. It's a little bit more fun. So we've got a one. We've got one times twenty-two. We've got two times eleven, and this is all our possible factor pairs. This sign is positive, so both the signs are the same. The sign is positive, so they're going to be both going to be positive. So we're going to get j plus eleven, j plus two. Eleven plus two is thirteen. Oh, close bracket. Okay, that's it.